And, and what about fracking? All right, now, let me, let me, have, have, let me allow fracking. Vice President I Biden to respond. I never said I oppose fracking. You, you said it I, on tape. I did show the tape. No more, no new fracking. We, we, are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our headline of the day is Elon Musk and Senator Ted Cruz team up to unleash American energy. The story broke on Friday where Musk took to Twitter to speak out about the necessity of increasing domestic oil and gas output to combat the dramatically surging energy prices under the Biden administration and as Russia continues to invade Ukraine. As many of you have already felt, gas prices are absolutely insane. Here in California, for example, we have already hit over $7 a gallon in some places. Heck, I just filled up yesterday and paid $5.35 a gallon. Well, this leads me to my next point. You know that feeling when you're watching that total increase while you're pumping gas? That feeling as if nobody cares, no hope, as if there's no support for you? Well, that's how I feel when you don't subscribe. <laughs> so take a moment and click that subscribe button. Support me and the show here and everybody at the Bald Brad Show. It would be greatly appreciated. Well, these price hikes are a result of Democrats waging war on America's fossil fuel industry. On one end, Joe Biden is telling us that he's doing everything he possibly can to fix the problem. Uh, we, but we would say directly to consumers, the president is going to do everything we can to reduce the impact. But then at the other end, his own EPA right now is shutting down oil refineries. If you recall, Biden is the one who canceled the Keystone pipeline. He greenlit the Nord Stream 2 pipeline that let Russia export 80% of its gas to Europe. Biden has also been a leader of shutting down the fossil fuel industry altogether. Heck, it was one of his campaign promises. So False. it's all a pipe dream, but you know what we'll do? We're going to have the greatest economy in the world. But if you want to kill the All economy, right. get rid of your oil industry. You want to, and, and what about fracking? All right, now, let me, now let me, have have, let me allow fracking. Vice President I Biden to respond. I never said I oppose fracking. You, you said it I, on tape. I did show the tape. No more, no new fracking. We, we, are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. Well, like what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. pipes? Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, we would, we would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to cooperate. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends. Number one. Three consecutive American presidents have enjoyed stints of explosive economic growth due to a boom in oil and natural gas production. As president, would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth, even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. No more. No new fracking. The fact is that Democrats would rather listen to Greta Thunberg than Elon Musk or Senator Ted Cruz. Since Democrats are not willing to support Musk, Senator Ted Cruz took to Twitter on Saturday to support Musk's statement saying, couldn't agree more, unleash American energy now. Cruz also expressed his support after he released a statement on Friday regarding his introduction of the Energy Freedom Act which is an effort to make America energy independent again by accelerating federal permitting for energy projects and pipelines, mandating new onshore and offshore oil and gas lease sales, approving pending LNG export licenses, and generally speeding up solar, wind, and geothermal development. He says this, quote, I'm introducing the Energy Freedom Act to reverse Biden's actions so we can restore American energy independence. This bill won't cost taxpayers a dime, but it will provide the United States billions in revenue in the coming years by expediting permitting, leasing, safe new pipelines and exports, and providing much needed regulatory certainty. It would create new jobs, lower energy costs, and become modern energy production in the United States is far cleaner than in any other countries by every measure. It would help the environment, Cruz said in the statement. Notice that it is Republicans that are stepping up to fix a decades-long problem. You will not see Democrats lining up to introduce legislation like this. You will not see Democrats demanding more drilling. You will not see Democrats remove their crippling regulations. 
Sadly, Cruz's act here, the Energy Freedom Act, will not fix our problems in the short term. Frankly, we are screwed for a long while. This is one of those cases of, I told you so. Republicans said this would happen. Trump said countless times that this would happen. And here we are dealing with the crap, all because Democrats couldn't handle mean old tweets. Well, Democrats. And when folks vote, they order what they want. And in this case, they got what they asked for. For now, we must wait to see if Cruz's Energy Freedom Act will pass and put a stop to Biden administration's sabotage of the American energy industry, and Congress should take it up without delay. With that being said, folks, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you next time here on The Bald Brad Show.